Merhaba arkadaşlar. Atek Yurt Dışı Eğitim Danışmanlık tarafından hazırlanan e, bir Yurt Dışı Eğitim webinarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Litvanya'da üniversite eğitimi ve e, Kaunas University of Technology e, ile ilgili e, bilgi verecek e, üniversite yetkilisi arkadaşımız Roman. E, Litvanya'da üniversite eğitimi hem ekonomik hem de gerçekten standartları çok yüksek. Hepinize iyi seyirler diliyorum. Sorularınız varsa lütfen sormayı unutmayın. It's your turn, Roman. Hello, dear one. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here today. So, uh, good evening to everyone. My name is Roman, and today I would like to talk about Kaunas University of Technology and admission procedure for international students. So, uh, I would like to start maybe. Um, something about our city because our university is located in the second largest city of Lithuania, city of Komnas. It's actually the city of students and uh, throughout the academic year you can see approximately 50,000 students who live here and then study here. So as you can see on the map, our city is located in the center, in the middle. So practically you can't also reach uh, any other European country You can take a short flight and within two or three hours you can reach, for example, Germany or the Netherlands or many other countries. So, and briefly about Lithuania, it's a Baltic state uh, in Northern Europe with a population less than three million uh, inhabitants. We speak our own language, Lithuanian. The capital city is Vilnius. We use uh, Euro as our currency and we are a member of the European Union. So talking about the university, so our university is well known for cooperation uh, with the business field, leadership in scientific research, flexible in the interdisciplinary study programs, and you can get experience you just can't forget. Uh, Kaunas University of Technology is fast forwarding to becoming an internationally acknowledged main institution of higher education in the region. And uh, we have nine faculties. So as you can see, there's chemical technology faculty, School of Economics and Business, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Informatics, Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Mechanical Engineering and Design, Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, Civil Engineering, and there's like one more faculty that is located um, in another town. But today I will be talking about those nine faculties, uh, sorry, eight faculties that are located in, in the city of Kaunas. So as you can see, you can mostly study engineering field at our university, but we also have a school of economics and business and also social science faculty for those who are interested in, in social science field. So uh, our university has approximately 8,000 students As you can see, more than 1,000 are international students coming from different countries. So it means more than 10% uh, are international students. We offer bachelor studies, master studies, and uh, doctoral studies. So as you can see, most of our students are uh, bachelor students, but we also have approximately 2,000 uh, master degree students. So talking about studies, So at our university, we offer uh, 43 programs in total and 18 are fully taught in English. So those 18 are for our international students who would like to study. So you don't need to worry about, uh, about the local language. You don't need to learn uh, our language. So you just need to speak English. Of course, uh, in case you're interested, we can uh, also offer Lithuanian language course, but those programs are fully taught in English. And 25 master degree programs, one integrated, and also we offer doctoral studies. Integrated is architecture. So practically now you are studying five years and after five years you are uh, getting master's degree. So now you can see the list of programs we offer. So as, as I have mentioned, there are different fields. There's engineering field, There are social sciences, uh, also business. So usually the duration is uh, four years, but there are some programs uh, with duration three years and architecture integrated five years. 
I would like to pay your attention to preparatory courses. So for those who would like to improve uh, language skills first, uh, so you can apply for English preparatory program or for those who would like to study architecture, but would like to improve first. So we offer uh, architecture preparatory program with the duration of one semester. So this program is open uh, always in the spring semester. So for those who are interested in master degree, um, so more or less we offer the same fields. So as you can see, there's also engineering. Uh, there, there is um, informatics, the same as we offer for bachelor students. Uh, there is also architecture. Uh, we have accounting and auditing and international business. Okay, so talking about the tuition fee, uh, this is really uh, individual because it, it always depends on the program you would like to study because for each program there's different uh, different tuition fee, but for bachelor uh, uh, for bachelor's degree, it's, it starts from uh, 2,800 euros up to 3,426 and for masters, uh, it's from 3,000 up to 4,000. 787. Again, it really depends uh, okay, on the, on the program you are willing to, to study. So now I would like to introduce briefly uh, our Master Plus model. And we also offer this model for bachelor's degree. So it's called uh, Bachelor Plus model. So practically it's unique model that was launched in 2016. So now our students have two possible tracks within chosen program and additional competencies required maybe for a career. So as you can see, so um, you have two options. So you can become a, a field expert or you can maybe deepen your knowledge in uh, interdisciplinary context. So as you know, you have some, uh, some compulsory courses and you have some uh, electives. So this model is focused on electives. Okay, so you can choose some additional uh, courses from the same field and then you are becoming a field expert or you can choose interdisciplinary uh, interdisciplinary parts. So that means that you, for, it's just an example. So you can study, let's say, vehicle engineering and you can choose this interdisciplinary part as uh, management logistics and then you are becoming an expert in the logistics field and you can compare this in, in, in many other fields, okay? Okay, so talking about doctoral studies, uh, just briefly, so we have uh, eight different research institutes. We also offer some, uh, some intensive uh, doctoral courses. We have eight in fields of science and our uh, doctoral school offers also summer school. So about scholarships. So uh, I believe this is uh, important part for all of you who would like to study at our university. So we offer different scholarships. So the first one is the tuition fee waiver for international students. So practically there's the scholarship that covers your tuition fee. Then we have different tuition fee discounts and uh, you can find it currently on our website as a partial tuition fee waiver. So practically it's, it's uh, some sort of discount on your tuition fee. Then we have loyalty program for those who completed bachelor's degree and would like to study a uh, master's degree at our university. And we also have different scholarships for our students. So it, it always depends um, on your additional activities and on your uh, CGPA. Okay, so you can even combine it. So you might be awarded to the tuition fee waiver and at the same time, if your uh, CGPA is, is really high, you can also apply for additional scholarship, which is provided for our students. So talking about the student's life and campus, um, this is also one of the most important um, facts about our university because we offer accommodation for our international students and our dormitories are located in the campus. So. For those who are considering to study engineering, technology, architecture, um, or informatics field, um, these faculties are located in the campus at the same place as our dormitories are located. And uh, the fee starts from 90 euros per month up to 140. So it really depends on the room type. There is free and fast Wi-Fi. 
the location is actually uh, not bad. It's actually really good because you can reach the city center. There's also a shopping mall uh, located next to the campus, so you can you can always reach it uh, easily. And average cost of living is approximately 400 up to 450 euros per month. So, but it really depends. It's, it's, it's really individual. Sometimes you can make it even less. Sometimes you can make it a bit more. So it, it really depends on your needs. So, and now I would like to introduce additional value we offer for our students. And we are inviting you to become the most gifted, guided, wanted, inspired, activated, uh, united and discovered. So gifted is, uh, is the program uh, which was designed for the most motivated students. So if you are a part of this, this project, this program, so you can also get additional courses, additional modules, you, you might be awarded to additional scholarship of 300 euros. Guided, it's all about mentors because we have almost 600 mentors. So these people are helping our students, uh, not only at the beginning of academic year when uh, new incoming students uh, are entering university, but also later on, you might need the help from like in terms of like research activities, in terms of uh, academic matters and so on. Wanted, it's all about career. So usually we offer a job, we organize a job fair uh, in the autumn. So you can, you can join this event and you can search for, for your future employer or maybe you can search for internship position and so on. But uh, anyway, we also have our own career center that is ready for our students to, to help them with their motivation letters, with their interviews. Uh, they can actually prepare you for your first interview, job interview. Inspired, it's all about our societies. So for those who can play piano or maybe they can dance um, at the professional level, you are more than welcome to join our art societies. Activated, it's all about sport activities. Uh, United about students' organizations because we have approximately uh, 30 different students' organizations at our university. And discovered it's all about students and staff mobility. So uh, during your studies, you can apply for Erasmus Plus. So that means uh, that you have um, 12 months for any kind of mobility. So you can, you can. Um, study as an exchange student, one or two semesters, or you can just simply search for an internship in another country uh, in Europe. And also we have different bilateral agreements with different universities, so you can become an exchange student, or also like uh, outside this, uh, this Erasmus Plus network. So, and now uh, a little bit about Activated. So we have our own sports center that is free of charge for our international students. So all you need to do is just like, uh, you need to complete your registration uh, in the academic system. And we offer different activities. There is body design, there is Pilates um, and many other activities. So you, our students are invited to join our sports, uh, sports center. And uh, also this, uh, this center offer different activities. So if you are really good and if you're professional in terms of playing football, volleyball, handball, badminton, you can join our pro professional teams and you can represent our university or you can just join free time uh, activities and you can just simply play, um, play a game uh, for fun with your friends or classmates study at Kitty Ambassador. So Ambassadors is a group of outstanding students now who are representing university and our community. Also, they are ready to consult uh, prospective students and your families. And they're also promoting intercultural lifestyle in the campus and at our university. So in case you have any questions related to the student's life and you would like to know something about about studies, but from the student's perspective, so you can contact this, uh, the, this ambassador. So practically they're our students and they can share something, uh, something um, about the life in the campus, about dormitories and, and so on, if you are interested. 
Okay, about mentorship programs, I have mentioned this, but uh, we offer mentors for our students. So if you are as a new student, you will get a mentor who will take care of you at the beginning. But then later on, we have tutors, career mentors, academic advisors, and research mentors. So later on, you might be interested in, in different research activities. So you might search for research mentors or also, you might be interested in, uh, in uh, finding a job so you can actually uh, register for a consultation uh, in our job center and you can also get your career mentor who can help you with your CV motivation letter and they can prepare you for your very first job interview. So students live on the campus. So as I have mentioned before, uh, in the campus there are not only our faculties and dormitories located, but there is also uh, different sports facilities, our own gym, student leisure center, students organizations, and also throughout the academic year, there are many different uh, events happening. So our students are always uh, invited to join all the activities and all the events. So, and uh, now briefly about admission requirements. I guess this is also important. So for bachelor's degree, you should have senior high school diploma with a minimum CGPA at least 60 out of 100. So maximum three years after high school graduation is eligible. So if you completed secondary education uh, more than three years, so practically you have a gap of uh, three and more years. Uh, and if you would like to study bachelor's degree, you might not be eligible according to our admission rules. Also, you should have minimum average grade at least 60 out of 100 in each entry subject. So entry subject uh, might be different for each program. So just an example, you would like to study aviation engineering. So uh, entry subjects are mathematics, physics, and English uh, in this case. And you should have uh, English proficiency, at least uh, the IELTS 5.5 or TAFL. So something similar to the B2 level. Okay, so in case you don't have uh, these certificates or you just can't uh, register for, for these exams because uh, as we know at the moment, it, it's not that easy considering the pandemic situation. So you can also apply for our internal exam so we can conduct our online exam for you. And for master's degree, so you should have university bachelor's degree uh, in the field you would like to study. So if you would like to study accounting and auditing or you would like to study international business, so you should have university bachelor's degree in the similar field. So it might be something related to the business field or maybe finances and so on uh, with a CGPA at least 16. So for master's degree, there is a motivation interview required and you should have English proficiency at least C1 level or IELTS at least six point. Zero. Roman, Zero. yes. Uh, for, uh, regarding to English language exam, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you need student first to apply and admit it, then take the English language exam or uh, when student arrives into campus can take the exam if he is eligible to study mm -hmm. for the first year then yes continue. so they should yeah they should take uh, this exam before before they they arrive uh, to our university so our exams are online uh, even this this english exam is online so they just need to register for it so as soon as they uh, apply for studies at our university, we will review applications and we can see, okay, so this person doesn't have like the IELTS or the TAFL exam. So we will invite him or her for our internal exam. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and also talking about admission, requirement, uh, admission requirements, yes, there might be some additional requirements. Uh, for example, for those who would like to study a uh, bachelor's degree at the social science faculty or uh, at the School of uh, Economics and, and Business, there is also motivation interview via Skype, okay? And uh, so sometimes there might be some additional requirements and something similar applies to those who would like to study architecture. So as you know, 
you should have your own portfolio and there is also an entrance exam that is uh, held online as well. So it's uh, only about additional requirements. Yeah, but what you can see at the moment on the screen is just like general requirements. Okay, so uh, talking about uh, about KTU, so and why KTU? So we offer individually fine-tuned study plan. Uh, our digger certificate is globally recognized. We are number one technical university in Lithuania. Our students are uh, best valued by employers in Lithuania. Our campus is bilingual. So as I have mentioned it before, you don't need to worry about the local language. You don't need to learn it because everything is uh, bilingual. Uh, all necessary information in our campus are in Lithuanian language and at the same time in English. And all the programs, or not all the programs, but those programs uh, that are offered to international students are fully taught in English. But again, uh, if there is someone who would like to learn Lithuanian, there are language courses uh, for international students as well. We have different double degree options and joint study programs with foreign universities. So if you are interested into these options, so there we also offer double degree options. And I already mentioned, but um, I would like to emphasize it one more time. Uh, you can apply for internship and there are different opportunities waiting for you as well. So uh, a few years ago, we had uh, some students who did their internships in, in, uh, in the USA, in companies such as Google, Tesla, and so on. So you, you see, so sometimes you can even find an internship place in the US or, or in Canada as well. So, and about contacts, so you can, um, uh, you can find some additional details about students live on our Facebook profile or our Instagram profile. And in case you would like to talk to our students regarding their own experience, and uh, maybe you would like to know something about the social life, about Lithuania. So you can go uh, on this link. So practically it's, uh, you can go on our website and you will find ambassador section. Okay, so, and you can talk to our students directly. Roman, can you go back to uh, bachelor's programs uh, slide? Yes, definitely. Um, there is a question regarding to architectural mm -hmm. study program. Uh, yes, it's this one. Yeah. Um, do, 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 you, do you need to provide a, port, a portfolio to apply yes, an architecture yes, yes, program? Yes, yes, for, uh, for architecture program, for integrated studies, there is um, there's compulsory portfolio and also an entrance exam. Okay, uh, but this architecture program, it's an integrated program. That means that students uh, will be studying for five years and after five years, they're getting master's degree diploma. And also in case that, uh, because sometimes, you know, there are students who need to take their own time and they need to improve drawing skills. So in that case, we offer our uh, architecture preparatory program for one semester and then they can join. So this means uh, you can also start to study in February? Yes, yes, yes. All right, this is good. Yes, uh, because this program, sorry for interrupting, because this program starts only in the spring, okay? So usually students uh, can come in the spring semester. They have like one semester just, you know, to, to get used to, uh, new country and the new system and everything and at the same time they can improve the uh, maybe English skills and also like drawing skills and then after after one semester they're admitted uh, to the architecture uh, integrated program. So do you mean without a portfolio student yes. can apply and come to the campus then start to program directly? In yes, yes. So in case they don't have portfolio or they feel like, okay, uh, maybe now I should improve my drawing skills or maybe I could learn something more about drawing and, and portfolio first and then, 
and then I could uh, join, join studies to then yes. So uh, in order to start this uh, architecture preparatory program, you don't need to have portfolio. All right. Um, can I ask uh, yes, Turkish students population at the university? Yes, so at the moment it's really difficult to, to say how many students we have from Turkey, but we have quite many. Studying different different programs, we also have students from Turkey at the social science faculty, at the economics faculty, also informatics, architecture is, is quite popular for Turkish students. And then of course, aviation engineering and mechanical engineering faculty in general. This is uh, really popular for Turkish students. Um, do you also have any idea about the visa uh, process duration to apply from Turkey? Well, it really depends. Uh, it really depends when you're applying. So if you're applying in August, so it might take uh, a bit more. But if you're applying, I don't know, before summer, I strongly believe it is... It doesn't take uh, so long, but of course it's really individual because, as you know, uh, in order to apply for a, um, for a visa, you need to have some documents. You need to have your police clearance certificate, bank account statement, and other documents. So it also depends. So if you have all the documents prepared and, and you just go to the embassy and you have all the documents and you are just submitting uh, your file, then of course it's faster. Uh, but sometimes happens that, that uh, students might forget uh, some documents and then they need to submit it additionally. So in that case, yes, it takes longer, but it really depends, really depends. Let's say like average duration, two, three weeks, but it really depends. All right. Uh, thank you for this information as well. Uh, and do you have, uh, can I ask your last yes. sentences for uh, potential Turkish students? Yes, so my last sentence is, so if you are interested in studies, uh, you, can, you can feel free to send me a message. If you go to the Unibody platform, you can find me there as well. But in any case, you you can ask uh, Alper, so he can help you out regarding the admission. All right, thank you very much, uh, Roman. Arkadaşlar, hepinize teşekkür ederim katıldığınız için. Kaunas University of Technology hakkında sorularınızı bize her zaman sorabilirsiniz. Bir sonraki yayınımızda tekrardan görüşmek üzere. Hoşça